Carl Friedrich Gauss, the prince of mathematician and the greatest mathematician since antiquity. In this section, we are going to discuss a fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Before that, let's start with prime numbers. What are prime numbers? A prime number is a whole number with only two factors, that is, one and the number itself. Some examples are the 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. For all these numbers, what are the factors? For example, for the number 2, what are the factors of 2? 1 and 2. And for number 3, the factors are 1 and 3. Such numbers are called prime numbers. Next, composite number. What are composite number? A composite number is a whole number with 3 or more 4 factors. For example, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, etc. 4 is the least composite number and 2 is the least prime number. Here we have the statement of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. Actually, what is the meaning of fundamental theorem of arithmetic? Any integer greater than 1 is either a prime number itself or can be written as a unique product of prime numbers. The statement and proof of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic were contained in propositions 30 and 32 of Euclid's element in 300 BC. Then, who is Euclid? Euclid was a Greek mathematician and he is known as the father of geometry. Here we have some examples. The number 1 is neither prime nor composite. And 2 and 3 are prime numbers. But 4 is a composite number and it can be factorized as 2 into 2. Where 2 and 2 are the prime numbers. So we express a 4 as a product of prime numbers. Like this, 5 is a prime number but 6 can be factorized as a product of prime numbers 2 and 3. Like this, every composite number can be factorized as a product of prime numbers. So that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Next, how to find out the HCF and the LCM of two or three numbers using prime factorization method. HCF is equal to product of the smallest power of each common prime factor in the numbers. Let's look at an example. Consider the numbers 72 and 48. The prime factors of 72 is equal to 2 cube into 3 square and 48 is equal to 2 raised to 4 into 3. So here the common factors are 2 and 3. For the factor 2, the least power is 2 raised to 3. And for the factor 3, the least power is 3 raised to 1. So HCF is 2 raised to 3 into 3 that is equal to 8 into 3 that is 24. Next, for the same number, how to find out the LCM? The LCM is equal to Product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the numbers. Therefore, LCM is equal to 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 2. That is 16 into 9 is equal to 144. Also, we have one important relationship between HCF and LCM and the numbers. That is HCF into LCM is equal to A into B. That is, in this case, HCF is 24 and LCM is 144. Therefore, 24 into 144 is equal to 72 into 48. That is, 3456 is equal to 3456. Next, consider the two numbers 12 and 90. The factorization of 12 is equal to 2 square into 3 and 90 is equal to 2 into 3 square into 5. So, here... The 2 and 3 are the common factors. Therefore, HCF is equal to 2 into 3 that is equal to 6. And how to find out the LCM? LCM is 
take the greatest power of all the factors that is 2 square into 3 square into 5 that is equal to 180. Next consider three numbers 72, 126 and 168. The factorization of 72 is 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2. 126 is equal to 2 into 3 square into 7 and 168 is equal to 2 raised to 3 into 3 into 7. Then how to find out the HCF? Here 2 and 3 are common and out of 2 which is the least power that is 2 raised to 1 and if you consider the factor 3 which is the least power 3 raised to 1. So HCF is equal to 2 into 3 that is equal to 6. For LCM consider the greatest power of all the factors. So it is 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2 into 7 equal to 504. Next we have to verify whether the previous relation is true or not in the case of three numbers. So here HCF into LCM is equal to 6 into 504 and the three numbers A into B into C is equal to 72 into 126 into 168. So what do you observe here? HCF into LCM is 3024 but the product is not equal. So the previous relation is not true in the case of three numbers that is HCF into LCM is not equal to A into B into C.